Hi guys, it's Skimboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is something very different. Now, this is a video which I never actually tend to do, and that is a wish list or a concept of an update that I've been thinking about for a long as time. Now, I've mentioned this idea a fair amount of times on my streams, if you haven't seen those before, so I feel like it's only right to dedicate a whole video to it. Now, before we begin, I do want to shamelessly plug my Discord server, which will be in the description of the video. Please do feel free to join. It's a great place to chat to the community, the sub base of this channel, and of course, Daddy Dan himself. Please do join. It's very lonely and I need some new people. But anyway, with all of that said and done, please do sit back and relax. Let's get started. Okay, so this update, this proof of concept is something which I like to refer to as the nostalgia update. This update would be a small to medium size update that takes heavy inspiration from visions. Ideally, the nostalgia update should be released after beyond a little further down the line when Hello Games are more comfortable bringing out smaller sized updates instead of big fat overhauls. So this update would focus on variety the most most, having more things to explore and more incentive to do so. However, this isn't just through terrain, flora and fauna like a lot of other variation updates that people bring up. Its focus is instead on an older version of No Man's Sky. So similar to the concept of abandoned space stations in No Man's Sky currently where they use the old pre-next interior, the nostalgia update would bring back parts of older versions of No Man's Sky that have been lost with current updates. The nostalgia update would add outdated systems to the galaxy. These are systems which were never updated to the current version of No Man's Sky and they hold old planet generation, old fauna and flora and of course the old colour palette. I guess this also ties into the story and lore of No Man's Sky as well. Spoiler alert, you have been warned. In terms of the universe being a simulation and all of this kind of thing where it isn't real, you know, we're in a game basically, it would fit in to have systems that for whatever reason never got updated to a newer version meaning they are essentially glitched planets but just from a frozen 2016 No Man's Sky state. In a way, I think it's kind of creepy, which a lot of people say about abandoned space stations and anomalous planets. So really, it wouldn't be too out of place considering all of the other planets that exist with kind of breaks and glitches in the simulation. Alongside the older generation and aesthetic, which would allow for much more interesting exploration and screenshots, these outdated systems would house old redundant elements on its planets. Outdated planets would still house obsolete elements like plutonium and thamium-9. These elements aren't actually usable, you cannot put them in your life support or your hazard protection, however they are a highly valuable item in the galactic network. So this means that old planets would still have the standard resources that we're now used to, that wouldn't change up gameplay all that much, but older versions of these materials can be found and sold for profit. They would be fairly common on the planet, you know, as common as they were back in the day, however the outdated systems themselves, the ones which which the planets are inhibiting would be fairly hard to locate otherwise I think it would take away a little bit from the exploration. So outdated systems wouldn't really affect gameplay all that much, they won't change the fundamentals of No Man's Sky, however they would add some variety in the galaxy and of course act as fan service to older versions of No Man's Sky that a good portion of the community look upon fondly. Now I think one of the biggest advantages of having a nostalgia update per se is that it would provide a really workable solution to the whole old aesthetic the old colors debate that has been going on for a absolutely stupid amount of time in case you don't know this is an argument that basically says no man's sky lost its original aesthetic those bright colors those acid trip kind of retro sci-fi visuals that just have been replaced by you know realistic lighting washed out and dulled colors some people on the other side of the argument say that this is you know absolutely awful the new colors the new light and it's so much better but then on the flip side people 
like me think that No Man's Sky needs color and it needs that old color palette which it used to have. And although Visions did kind of bring this back to some extent, there are still just way too many dull reds and yellows which don't look anywhere as near as good as they did back in the day. And if you've ever played earlier versions of No Man's Sky, specifically up to 1.3, colors were extremely hard to look at, but in a good kind of quirky aesthetic sort of way. So when it comes down to this debate, there are people that would hate for old colors to come back and people that would love for old colors to come back. There is not really a clear winner. So having something like the nostalgia update would indeed add those old colors to the game. You would be able to find them, but it would not replace anything. For those that like how the game looks at the moment, you can still enjoy that. There is just a chance to come across planets that are, say, a bit more colorful and a bit more acid trippy. In basic terms, this keeps both sides of the argument very happy, and I think this would actually be a fairly credible solution to solving this age-old debate. So guys, that's just about all I have to say for this video, but as always, I would love to know your thoughts on the nostalgia update concept in the comment section of the video. I just want to say thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then please do feel free to leave a like on it, and if you guys could also subscribe to MZK, then that'd be absolutely fantastic. And as always, I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skimp Boot, signing out.